good deal tomorrow. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, we're off. To Damascus we walk. Look, you're crazy. They remind me of history. I love today already. Roll in the cow patty. No. <laughs> Huck is about to go herd that cow. Oh, there he goes! <laughs> oh my gosh, why is the cow not moving? <laughs> he, <laughs> he bailed out, the cow didn't move, and Huck was like, oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Huck! I'll try one. I'll try. <laughs> you poor boy. <laughs> They're all just staring at him. Huck versus cow. Who will win? <laughs> oh, bud. Back into the woods we go. So this morning for breakfast I had watermelon banana just had some dried mangoes right now because my stomach's a little you know crampy and messed up or whatever I haven't been able to eat like a whole bunch in the morning but I do have a ham egg and cheese biscuit waiting for me when I get hungry enough so I'm excited about that really happy that I Got to eat all this fruit and veggies and fresh food, home-cooked meals. So thank you so much to Grace's parents. Um, you guys are amazing. And going to help us fuel and get through this 20-mile day into Damascus. Hopefully. All right, taking our first break. We've done five miles. We're at the road. And we're a quarter of the way through with the day. It's um, 10.45, so making good timing. This is the McQueen's Knob Shelter. It's not maintained by the Appalachian Trail. They say to only use it in case of an emergency. Seems pretty old. There's no water source or privy here, but it's kind of cool. 
but I am pushing on to the next shelter. Hold on. The Abingdon Gap Shelter. So it's 1.4 head. And that's where I'm going to stop and eat some lunch, take my shoes off. That'll be our halfway point during the day for today. And I'll show you guys what I eat. Y'all hear that? I think that's the first cicada I've heard. It means one thing, it's getting hot. I heard that cicadas are supposed to be bad this year. Or some hiker told me that. You're on the north, much better. Jordan is what I have. Wow, he's fast. <laughs> yeah, he is. Terrible. American toad. All right, we just stopped for a nice long, or we, I, stopped for a long lunch at that shelter. And we got 10 left into Damascus. Still have no plan for where we're staying tonight. There's a city ordinance in Damascus. You can't tent. So all the hostels there, you can't tent. And I really don't want to stay in a hostel because I'm tired of staying in civilization. I want to sleep in the woods. So probably find a stealth spot on the AT. But I do want to go into town and get some good food. So, we'll just see what happens. Excuse me, mister. Please. Get off. Oh. Hey, snakes. Come on. There you go. So I just realized it has been three full weeks since I came back out on trail, which means that it's been six full weeks since my surgery. So these first three weeks, you know, I've been easing back into it, taking every opportunity to slack pack and stay at hostels, getting good meals, good sleep, really focusing on nutrition, all the things. But I can confidently say that my body is 100% back to normal better actually than it was before because I don't have a three pound cyst in my stomach anymore so yesterday I wasn't feeling good today I'm still not 100% because it's that time of the month but as women know that's just something you have to suck up and deal with and definitely very happy that I've healed well very thankful and blessed to be out here every single day and I'm not taking a second of it for granted. Wow. Here we are. The Tennessee-Virginia state line. So, I'm officially in Virginia. That's pretty cool. Which also means I'm three and a half miles from Damascus. Which hopefully means that I get a steak in my belly tonight. I don't know what the food options are looking like in Damascus. I don't even know where I'm going to sleep tonight. But I do know one thing. I want a big old steak and some veggies. Oh, that sounds so good. It is 4.30 now, so we're gonna book it in to town, get something to eat, find somewhere to sleep, and yeah. What's also pretty cool is I've never been to Virginia. This is the first time here, so I can say, first time coming to Virginia, I walked there. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, I just walked 20 miles. And I'm here. This is Damascus in all its glory. 
The trail literally comes out in somebody's yard. It's interesting. through hikers and the bricks. So we're going for dinner. Dessert. at the dragonfly inn all right y'all so we didn't have a plan for tonight we was either gonna we were gonna, like camp in the woods or find somewhere to stay here and after a 22 mile day i didn't want to go camp in the woods because the nearest campsite northbound is 1.5 miles more up the trail it's like nope not walking anymore so we didn't really know where to stay. Well, I went to the diner because I uh, met a man on trail and he was like, you gotta go there to eat. And I was like, okay, I'll go. Anyway, I'm eating my food. A man walks up to the counter and he was saying something about people canceling last minute. And he was upset because this his place books out and whatever, he could have rented those rooms to somebody else. So I asked my waitress about it. Turns out it's her parents like hostel or bed and breakfast or whatever and she was like yeah a couple people just canceled you should call my dad and you know let him know you want to stay so this room we got for a really good deal it's just as much as if we would have stayed in the hostel and it includes breakfast at the diner again and it like check out our room it's so cute the trail provides, man. The trail provides every time. <laughs> like, it's just so cool how everything always works out. Um, anyway, so I already ate because I've been in town for like a couple hours now. Grace just got here, so we're going to go get her some food and then come back here and just chill because this is like my longest day on trail yet. I feel great. We got full packs. Uh, with four days of food, I did 22 miles. So what's up? I can do anything. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, it's about time for bed. Today ended up being a 22-mile day. Body feels good. We've got a 17-mile day tomorrow. We're really fortunate to find this room tonight. Um, and that's the fun and not having a plan. It's just kind of like seeing what happens. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.